we begin the process of configuring the Quick Connect connector by opening up the ShareScan Administration console. Then navigate to the Connectors tab and select the connector Quick Connect. The main portion of the screen provides three tabs for configuration. Let's begin on the Destinations tab. To create a new destination, select the New option and give the destination a name. In this case, we'll call ours Scan Legal Documents. The next option is for selecting the type of destination that you'd like to scan to. In this case, a Windows folder. We then browse to our destination folder In this case, I've selected a local subfolder on my C drive. In real life customer situations, you'd want to work with the IT administrator in order to set up a path and permissions to a proper network folder. I'd like to turn on authentication for this connector, so I'll select runtime as my authentication method. This will prompt the end user to fill in their username and password at time of scan. I'll also select my domain name and select OK. The file name tab is for configuring custom file name attributes. To create your custom file name, select the new button. You can create a variety of fields to capture a file name. In this case, I'll create three fields. The first for client name. The second field will be to capture the document type being scanned. In this situation, I'm going to create a static drop-down list from which the end user can select a value. The last field will be for date. By setting the type drop-down to date, the system will automatically stamp in the date in your preferred format. That's all there is to filling out the file name tab. The index file tab is for capturing metadata and is configured very similarly to the file name tab. The next step is to configure the connector's settings. We begin by adjusting the connector label. This text is important as it will show up on the button within the ShareScan client. You also have the option to select an image that will be associated with that button. For my workflow, I want to ensure that the file format is PDF and give the user the ability to select whether or not they need searchable text for their PDF at time of scan. To minimize the amount of time spent by the user at the copier, I'd also like to enable ShareScan's offline processing feature. At this point, I'm ready to save my profile. Clicking the Save As button in the middle portion of the screen allows me to give my profile a name. The next step is to deploy and test your new connector profile in the ShareScan simulator. With your connector saved, the next step is to deploy the connector. In this case, click on the Devices tab and select the simulator. At a customer location, you may have one or more scanning devices listed on your Devices tab, giving you the ability to selectively deploy connectors to one or many devices. To enable a connector on a device, simply select the profile name from the list and click Save. To verify the operation of the connector profile, click on the Simulator button in the main toolbar. This interface is almost identical to the interface that the end users would see on a scan station or embedded device. To test out your workflow, simply click the Workflow button.
A sample scanned image will be presented to you. For our workflow, we're asked to authenticate. The next step in the process is to define the custom file name. Here you can see all of the fields that we created earlier. You can see on the final screen that the document has been submitted for processing. This is a function of the ShareScan offline processing option that I selected earlier. We've now confirmed that our profile works properly. At a customer site, we would then be able to deploy this profile to one or more scanning devices.